Dogecoin looks like it's still moving to the upside right now and it looks like we're getting super close to my first target at dot one three nine one two the Fibonacci retracement level what level is this the 61 percent and yeah I've been watching the Fibonacci retracement levels if you don't know how to do that you get the we have a big trend once it starts going down or once you think it hits the top you can get the Fibonacci retracement tool drag from the bottom to the top and then you have some levels to watch and I like watching these levels because sometimes you get resistance and support on them right now I'm kind of curious if we're gonna get resistance on it there's a bunch of different things that I've been looking at so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now my the chart has like a bunch of stuff on it let's go ahead and delete some of these things and we'll come back to them uh, there's a falling wedge but we'll talk about that here in a second and that's pretty much the only bearish thing I think I see right now so we had an uptrend going like this I was watching this support and this support going to the upside we broke that going down but we got support and we started pushing back up we got resistance starting pushing back down got support and got pushed to the upside uh, this morning I was pretty much just watching this top right here and then this bottom right here and I was thinking if we and like this morning we we're still in this channel pattern and I was thinking if we could break this going to the upside then I think we're gonna start breaking th uh, through and start going higher up and maybe breaking this uh, other downtrend that I'll talk about here in a second but yeah it looks like we we broke that top and it looks like we're moving up still we had resistance right here resistance right here I was watching this in my last video and I was talking about this resistance right here if we could break that going up then maybe we could be targeting from the top to the bottom over here dragging this to the breakout let's go ahead and do that real quick and that gives us a target of around dot one five oh nine two but it doesn't end there we have a big let me delete that we could delete this real quick let's do that before we move on all right so we broke that pretty much but we also have this falling broadening channel and what I was doing is targeting for the top to the bottom of this basically it's like a channel uh, yeah basically a channel pattern you could just drag from the top to the bottom of it I like doing it in the middle try to be a little more conservative about it you could argue it, uh, a target like this as well you know what I mean tech uh, like kind of technically so, but I would I like doing it in the middle to give you a more smaller target more conservative basically if we drag this to the breakout where we're breaking out now let's go ahead and move this other one over a little bit um, something like this then we're looking at the same area that that tr big trend line is on that I've been watching and it lines up with that next Fibonacci retracement level sitting at dot one five six five two this one would be the 50% level um, but yeah let's go ahead and zoom out real quick we're, let's go back to the daily time frame or let's go to the daily time frame and I've been watching this for a while in my videos we have resistance right here resistance right here we have a downtrend going like this I've been saying once we start breaking these downtrends we had a downtrend right here we broke that going to the upside or it seems like we're breaking to the upside right now and uh, once we start doing that then we can start getting a little more bullish even if we start going sideways for a little bit then we can start coming into the next one and breaking that but it looks like we're breaking this first one let's see if we can come through and break this one over here let me move this price tag real quick just to give you a better view uh, yeah I think um, we have to okay so this is resistance it's possible when we come into it that it's going to give a resistance still and push us to the downside so this is an area where I'd, I would be looking at what is it doing is it is it still heading up or is it about to is it testing having a hard time breaking through it and it's starting to kind of go sideways and maybe down um, and it's, it's just not breaking through that line so let's see what happens at that point but let's go back to the one hour time frame because like I was saying there's a there's a falling wedge and that's pretty much the only bearish thing that I kind of see on this it seems like we're breaking out but and we have some pretty good I always talk about how like we want to see some volume come in like this is what I'm talking about this is good green volume in my opinion you want to see basically in, in a lot of patterns you'll see declining volume and then you'll see a nice little pop of volume usually that's a good sign I mean there's um, yeah I mean it's better than not having any volume 
because usually that'll be the case and you'll or even declining volume where it's still declining but it looks like there's some green candles coming and let's see what happens i want to really talk about this falling wedge though we have uh support 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 let's go ahead and draw a trend line um something like this and then we also had resistance we had resistance 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 and this is like kind of in the most recent um history kind of or the resistance in the in the most recent history in my opinion let's go ahead and draw a trend line sorry something like this so um a falling wedge is usually like the wedges whether they're going up or down is usually the opposite of what uh okay so a falling wedge is usually a bearish pattern let me just say it like that because usually it's going up and then it breaks the trend line and starts going to the downside so but it could also do the other thing it's basically like a channel pattern if it breaks to the upside we could just drag from the top to the bottom of the channel something like this and drag that to the upside and um that's possible as well especially like i was saying the the pattern kind of starts right here because the volume was declining since right here and this is where pretty much this pattern is starting and we got some green candles we are breaking to the upside we're breaking this other um breaking that other trend line too but like i said usually um if a, a rising wedge is a bearish pattern so it's it might be possible that it could be a fake out and uh we could get resistance at this fibonacci retracement level i mean it looks like we're hitting that first target that i was hitting at so that's pretty cool i mean um not quite yet but somewhere around there let's see what happens now though now that we've hit the target let's see what happens we also have this 180 moving average let's see if we could break through that but like I was saying, I'm kind of curious if it's going to do a fake out and come back down because falling channels will do that as well. Like, let's say we have some price action like this. Um, let's do something like that. And then the price is bouncing in between this. Sometimes in a falling wedge, it'll break below it and then it'll break above it or back into the channel and then it'll break out and then it'll be basically if it dips out and then it comes back in and then breaks out it's like a confirmation of this pattern so um it's still possible i i I've, i think it could do that this the same with a rising wedge as well so this could be a fake out but or we could get resistance i mean at the same time like i said this is why this was the first target though too because um sometimes these Fibonacci retracement levels will be resistance as well so we have to kind of keep an eye on that and that's but it does look like we're breaking this other pattern right here let's see if we could continue this momentum if we do then like I was saying we could probably drag from the top to the bottom over here I think I was doing something like this and then we're looking I'm looking at basically the next Fibonacci retracement level if we could continue this like if we could break through this one then I think we're basically, I'm basically looking at the next one. Um, and we might not get there because we have that trend line. And if it goes a little sideways, then it might be a little lower than that. Maybe 14982. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what's going to happen. We might just get a straight move up or it might go sideways. And um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. Um, I feel like there's a lot of good things, but this the only thing that I kind of want to get out of is this this um, falling wedge. I just kind of want to close more candles right here, just close some more candles going to the upside, and then I'll be I'll be less worried about this ch pattern over here. But it does look pretty good, and like I said, we're we're in this falling channel right here, and we had this nice little um, pop of volume. If we go to the four hour time frame as well, let's take a look what that looks like. The volume hasn't really came in a lot on the four hour, but it does look, I don't know, let's, let's see what happens. The volume still looks declining, kind of. But um, yeah, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, let's, that's what I was gonna say is, we wanna see, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get rid of this pattern. Let's just focus on this um, channel pattern because like I said, it still looks good. We broke above it. What I want to see is us close this candle. We have two hours and 15 minutes when I'm when I'm making this video, 
and let's see what the next candle does if it's green or if, I mean even if it's just a uh, green or even it might even be red and come back down and touch that but um, let's see what happens within the next couple candles whether they're whether it stays above this trend line or if it goes below it again and if we get like some green ones and start pushing up like I said I want to see us break that Fibonacci retracement level we, we hit the first target let's see if we can continue to, to the next target that I was also looking at and I like to look at the trend lines we have support right here support right here and support right here it, that one didn't I guess this one kind of touched down right here but we still have this trend line as long as we're on this trend line <clears throat> it's still possible that we go up so let's say we get resistance right here and we start re having to retest this line right here if we haven't broke this one quite yet then <clears throat> it's still possible that we might get a bounce and be able to test that Fibonacci retracement level again and continue to the upside the other thing that I used to do or I still kind of do but I used to do a lot more of <clears throat> is use the previous resistances just like I use the previous bottoms so it's possible that this level or this level might give us resistance as well um, but I'm just watching this trend line for now and the Fibonacci retracement levels so yeah let me know what you guys think though if you guys want to watch the last video and check out what I was looking at and see kind of the stuff that kind of happened and kind of follow the story then check out the last video right here and if you like the video hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one